We begin with Nate McMillan and in Indiana, T.J. Warren along with Tamatis Sabonis, Miles Turner in the middle, Jeremy Lamb and Malcolm Brogdon will be in the backcourt. Brett Brown has Tobias Harris and Al Horford back in the lineup along with Joel Embiid in the middle, Furkan Korkmaz for Josh Richardson. Missing tonight's game with a hamstring and Ben Simmons will be at the point. Down 12 at intermission. I really thought that Tobias injected them with some badly needed energy early in the third quarter. Did some pretty big shots. That would be Tobias Sabonis, along with Malcolm Brogdon. Leads the Pacers in scoring, averaging just under 19. Fundamentally sound is Sabonis in the game. It helps seal the comeback victory for the Sixers. And to hit basketball from 2-5 drafted rookie and his first year was a 10 win NBA team just a special guy I got a chance to talk to as Brock did knock down another possession didn't look like much would materialize from it but Raul able to salvage something out of it Raul with the pit these nice assist Devonis Sabonis leads the NBA in elbow touch points averaging about five per game Sabonis and Bede was looming. Good patience by Damanis Sabonis. Next year, a four-year, $77 million extension will kick in for the fourth-year big man from Gonzaga. Calm on the ball, the poise, subtle little pump fake, and then just a change of rhythm, a little throwing JoJo off. Nice move with the reverse layup. By the way, he comes in averaging just under 13. Simmons blew it up. Warren again, Horford on him, got a piece of the rock, and there is Sabonis cleaning up. And now the Indiana Pacers with their largest lead, thanks to a 7-0 run. Improvised. Got to do something like that. Come and get it out of his hands, people. There's McDermott doing what Doug McDermott does. 12 Sixer turnovers, 16, by the way, for the Pacers. We're in the top 10 at taking care of the ball. Simmons all over Brogdon. There's Brogdon, free for three, and down it goes at a timeout, Brett Brown.